Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. I was thinking, I think there's something I'm forgetting to say, but that's pretty much how it always starts. So I don't think I've forgotten it yet. Um, a little cool up in my room. I went to have my lunch and I opened the door up here. It was nice and warm out, but the air is a little cool. So it's a little bit cold up here. Taurus, I'm going to start with a card for you from the Divine Animal Oracle deck. And then I'm going to go into the... Um, the Light Seer's Tarot. We're going to look into your energy currently, what you should focus on, your past, your strengths, um, future <clears throat> surprises from the universe. So we're going to get started with the Divine Animal Oracle deck. If this reading does resonate with you, there is an extended. The link to the extended is at the top of the description of this video. Um, Oh, as well, comments are closed on uh, this video. However, if you really would like to comment on this video or communicate, just express your feelings, you can do that in the community section of this YouTube channel. So you can go over there to comment. All right, let's go, Taurus. What card do we have for you? It can come out as like an energy for you. It can come out as guidance. It came out for Aries as like a guidance card. Oh, you have the cover of the um, the book. You have the snow leopard. I don't know that I've ever pulled this for anyone yet. That's the underline. We're gonna look at both of these. Wow, you have two strong cat energies. Two really big cat energies coming through. You have Will with the tiger. Okay, so there's something that you're going through with this card. It's feeling a little bit like guidance. I feel like this is riding your back. Something is riding your back. Something that you sort of want to get rid of. It feels like it's holding you back. Like you could be much more powerful. You're you're showing up in power here. But there's something that's kind of like constraining it just a little bit and holding you back. Now the snow leopard. The watcher. Are you waiting and watching for your opportunity perhaps? Because these are both big cats. You're waiting for the right time to free yourself from something. Let's look what both these have to say. We'll start with Will the Tiger. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm saying a guy's name. And I think it's because a really close friend of mine, her, her son's name is Will. <laughs> so I think it's somebody's son. But then in the comments, when I did have them open, I know someone said my son's name is Will. So you never know how that runs. All right. Exercise your will and determination in ethical ways. Do not place your will over another's. You do not have control over anyone but yourself. Do not be afraid to be fierce, especially as a woman. You can ride our healthy anger. You can, yeah, we can ride our healthy anger, but we must eventually transform it into something more useful. Mm. Maybe you kind of feel like someone is trying to take control over you. So it's making you angry and you want to sort of overpower them on some level. It does caution, caution you about um, placing your will over another. Because you don't have control over them. So what about you can you control? That's really the key here. What about you can you control? Because you don't have control over someone else. So if someone else is making your life difficult, you really can't control them. But what can you control about you and your situation? So then you have the snow leopard, the watcher. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. The neighbors in the back are having a deck built. They were real quiet the whole time I had lunch. Because they were eating lunch. And now we're all back to work at the same time. The snow leopard, the watcher. This is the underline. Take the high road. Do not sink to the level of low vibration. Observe the situation closely before acting. Being silent is an option. Ethics is the number one concern. It is best not to continually draw attention to yourself just for the sake of filling up your ego. A little mystery is a good thing. I have to say it's really funny and kind of fascinating that you're getting this kind of a message because the reading I just did, well, for Aries about... Oh, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours ago now, because I had my little lunch break. Um, was like to take control over a situation and come out like with all this energy. <laughs> so like just pull it back, hold it back. Ah, that's so fascinating. Well, let's see what the tarot has to say to you. What does the tarot have to say 
to Taurus right now. <clears throat> Taurus is one of those energies that I find they'll take it, 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 they'll take it and then they blow up. Like they're kind of a zero to 110. There's not a lot of in between. This is my own experience. Right now, yeah, so you're trying to go somewhere. The universe is trying to take you, but it, you don't seem like you want to go. Hmm. Well, this is going to be interesting. The underlying is temperance. It's the only one. Everything else is reversed. Okay, so right now, you have the Six of Swords. So you are trying to go somewhere. Or you're being led somewhere, but I don't think you like it. Maybe that's some of the control that you're feeling here. Maybe it's not even a person. Maybe it's just the universe or the way things are playing out for you. It's like she's got her bag packed, but she's not very happy. She's looking down. It's raining. It's cold. Gosh, this card, it's Six of Swords. It feels an awful lot like the Five of Pentacles. It's just the imagery in it. But you're being you're being led. Spirits got control of this boat. It might feel like it's kind of a stormy sea, but spirit has control of the boat. Everything, you're going to be okay. What's your challenge here is the six of cups. It could be relationships from the past that you don't want to let go of or that you're feeling sad or melancholy about here. It's kind of crossing you. Your strength. Oh, no, your focus. What you're being asked to focus on, though, is your strength. Tame, perhaps, the wild beast within. It could be someone just triggering you. Maybe maybe you are trying to go somewhere. You're, just being tr you're trying to lead yourself somewhere to a new cycle, to a new frame of mind, whatever it is for you. And maybe there's other people playing out their parts around you but it feels controlling somehow like maybe you have a good idea about where you want to go or what you want to do it does seem to have something to do with people from your past and that's that's the challenge that you face right now maybe some of these people from the past don't want to go or do what you want to do maybe some of these people want you to go and do something particular and you don't know i'm on my path here it's like you really feel like you're kind of on your path as but it, yet it makes you sad so the focus here is building your inner strength whatever you're going through right now that's challenging it feels like it could be emotionally challenging on a couple of levels it could be emotionally challenging and that it it angers you it could be emotionally challenging and that you feel sad about it but that's the focus now, is finding your strength. It doesn't necessarily mean to bury it all either. Is to kind of look at it and see it for what it is so that you can move through. So you can actually have this. Because you can't have this if you haven't dealt with it properly. Your past is the king of wands. It's almost like in the past, you feel like you had control. You had um, a future ahead of you that you knew where it was going and what you wanted it to be. But right now, you're being taken somewhere. And I don't feel like it's exactly where you wanted to go or where you thought you would be going. In the past, it's like, yeah, I was the king of the castle. I had it all figured out. I knew exactly what I wanted, how to get it, how to keep it going. lion up here is kind of talking to me i don't know if it's an ancestor it feels fatherly oh, well it is a depiction of a male lion it feels kind of fatherly to me so i'm not sure if it's a father that's living now it could be like a brother an older brother or an uncle someone that you felt like kind of had your back is what i feel like Or maybe this is the person in the past. I don't know. I'm gonna I still gotta clarify everything. But you're going down a road, you're going down a river that feels just like cold pouring rain on a rough a rough body of water. And you don't really have any control over where this is going because the crows are pulling the boat. 
it's a tiny not a tiny but it's actually a whole lot like the rug kind of getting pulled out from under you and now trying to figure out how to go forward and you've got a mixed set of feelings here with it so your strength your strength is a chariot is to take control of that boat say let's go get the grab the back of the boat grab the oar or not the oar the rudder grab the rudder of the boat even perhaps the oars look at spirit wants to take you forward get ready to embrace the journey is your strength get ready to the, to embrace the journey <gasps> look at your future your future is you you are your future and look at it as a higher higher connection between you and the universe between you and your deeper self going through this process this focusing on is really actually going to release you if you're going through something difficult now it almost feels as if in the future you may look back on it so you know what that wasn't so bad look where i am now look what it actually brought me to now this is what's really interesting you haven't seen it yet so the surprise from the universe is the devil i need a second to look at it and see what it's saying It's saying good things. It's actually saying good things. Um, and it, interesting because the devil, this card has been saying good things lately. It can go back and forth for me, depending, I guess, on what the message is. Sometimes it feels like it is very manipulative and somebody's holding your strings, playing with you, um, like Geppetto's puppet. You just you don't have much control over your life. This doesn't. I'm looking at his face. Oh, actually, in the camera, it doesn't look that way. It looks this way to me. So I don't know what it looks like to you. But to me, it looks kind of sincere. And just, he's handing his strings over. So something that's made you feel trapped or, conf trapped or confined, manipulated, controlled, he's handing his strings over. It's kind of cool that... All of the color behind him is the same color that we have here, where you are right now. It's like he's in this storm with you. The devil is in this storm. The devil is in the details, too, for some reason. I mean, that's a pretty well-known phrase, but I am hearing that with this. I do want to clarify. Actually, I want to clarify the lion behind you in the past. It's, it's like an energy that felt like it had your back. What is this lion behind the King of Wands? Who or what is this lion behind the King of Wands from the past? Now, it's something defensive that there's a separation energy around it. So it is. It's connected to this, which is the, um, the challenge that you have as you're moving forward. This reminds me of saying goodbye. Like they've sort of lived a cycle together and the dog looks so much older. It's kind of sad. I'm really picking up this sad, melancholy energy. Like this cycle has, I don't want to think about, <laughs> think about that. That's the worst part about having dogs and pets. I wish they live longer. But yeah, okay, right now, right now, your energy, the six of swords, Oh, crap. Look at this. The King of Cups and the King of Wands. This King of Wands is maybe not even you. This is someone from your past. Because the first thing that came out was the King of Cups. And immediately I heard, you have so much feeling about this. And then the King of Wands came out. It is. It does feel like some sort of a connection that the universe is leading you away from. And it's hard. You're trapped in a real melancholy state. But with the King of Cups, I want to say people probably don't even know it. Like you may not even be showing it. You're hiding it pretty good. The Strength card. The Strength card. Look at how it flew. And it landed on the King of Wands. It's Temperance. And the Lovers. Boy, there's an awful lot of angelic energy. Right here. Like earth angel energy, cosmic angel energy, 
it's you, this is going to take time there's things that need to come into balance particularly with for sure your emotions and your feelings and just in space and time as well remember what i said in this future it's almost like looking back on whatever it is you're going through right now it's gonna i don't want to say it'll seem insignificant but the the happiness that you will find within yourself will make these feelings feel like it's so insignificant compared to where i am now but it seems like you're still struggling through that so the chariot is your strength the chariot is your strength the three of cups the knight of pentacles the four of wands and the king of swords well move directly towards what you want to move towards celebrate this it's double celebration for you and the king of swords really being clear and concise about what it is that you want. Maybe it feels like you're kind of, maybe this has been going on for a while, whatever that energy is. Like this travel, this journey, and you haven't reached the shoreline yet. Maybe there's something here, like be clear with what you want and the universe is gonna work with you on this. You're really looking for happiness and celebration, deep connection, spiritual enlightenment, but you want it to go slow and steady. You don't want to do any missteps along the way with this. You don't even want to rush into this. I think you just want to kind of see the shoreline and know what it is. But I'm hearing the message like you're the one to determine what that shoreline is. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. Oh, you can't even imagine how good you're going to feel. You can't. You can't even imagine how good you're going to feel. There's deep connection here for you in the future. A tower moment, like feeling really excited. I feel like for this to come out, it's almost as if there's no feeling of excitement. Well, yeah, there's no. You had the King of Wands in the past. But it's not really there now. It's showing up as association with some sort of melancholy energy. Feeling like, uh, I don't know if I'll ever be excited about life again, or if I'll ever be excited about partnership again, or if I'll ever be excited about where I work again, or it's going out for the day, or just getting up in the morning. There's going to be a big change here. I see you like really just so comfortable in your own skin in the future. All right, devil, let's talk to us. What do you have to say? What does the devil have to say to Taurus? Devil. Sorry, I got an itch. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so it's one of those itches where they can't. It's almost like a you know if a dog is just sitting still. Like, it was one of those. I'm back. I'm okay. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Devil again, and the Nine of Wands. So, what I'm hearing here is the Devil is telling me that the strings are for you to take, but you have to earn them. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. And when I say you have to earn them, you have to work through things that, that you don't feel comfortable with. And the devil is kind of coming up as an energy that's actually, and I've always felt that it is, it's a supportive energy here on earth in terms of lessons. Like earth isn't meant really to be a place where you just come for vacation. And some people end up with a life like that, but not, you, not most. Not most like you like earth is really about experience lessons growing your deeper self uh making decisions based on how things have you feeling like having different experiences and then sort of okay well what experience do you want to keep going towards you want to keep doing that okay we can keep doing that or do you want to move away from that it's not always easy to move away from that when you've done lifetimes of doing that 
but you know that's kind of what it is so this is that energy of there's something going on here for you right now where the universe is taking you in a direction that i feel like you're not completely comfortable with um and it does feel like mostly on an emotional level it doesn't it feel like intellectually you're thinking oh this is this is just a mess it just feels like it's really emotional and you're so like the devil is asking you to focus on your inner strength focus on the things that trigger you that upset you and try to figure out how to free yourself from that without outside factors that was really important in one of these cards like the outside factor not being the reason like that can't build your strength Yes, it does in some aspects. You need to stand up and speak up for yourself at times. But this is something deeper here. This is when you're all alone at night and there's no one there to talk to except you. Because the devil wants you to earn. He doesn't want you. His part in this is for you to earn this. Because you're going to come out on the other side like laughing at him, right? There's abundance here. But there's also a sense of... I don't know if I would call it stagnation a little bit, like having all this abundance, perhaps doing really, really well financially for yourself or physically or meeting goals that you'd really like to meet for yourself. But it's almost as if, well, you can't really do anything with them. You're going to just have to stay put and sit on that for a bit. Um, we'll play with your strings a little bit more here to the point that you're kind of tired. You're really tired with it. And then, oh, and then, then you're going to see how strong you are. That's what I feel like. Hey, see, you have temperance twice because it was your underlying patience. But patience is not something that Taurus is typically um, enabled, unable to do. This is a new level of exercising patience for yourself because it's playing, may, playing on your heart strings. Maybe those are the strings that the devil is holding here. So that's a part of yourself. There's something to do with patience here that's hitting you hard. And normally, like, you would be the one, if I put a lineup of Zodiacs, let's say, who is the one that can sit there the longest? And um, what is that marshmallow test or something? Where you put a marshmallow and if you can sit long enough that, and not touch it, you can have a whole bunch of marshmallows. But if you can't resist it and you take it right away, then you don't get any more. <laughs> See, like, I'm an Aries. I would take the marshmallow right away. I'm like, oh, I got stuff to do anyways. <laughs> Goodbye. So like Taurus, I would see out of all the Zodiacs would sit there, even food related, because I want more. <laughs> I want all the marshmallows. Wait, and you would wait, and you would wait. But this is not that test. This is a test for something that I don't think you saw coming and that you're feeling it. You're really feeling it. I'm looking at this temperance card too. He's holding the moon and the sun. This is an exercise between the unknown and the fears that we have there and meeting our wish fulfillments. Sitting between that energy. It's almost as if passing the test of your fears, but we're not gonna let you go yet. We're gonna let you sit on that a little bit longer. And that's the patience. Let's clarify that one. Let's clarify the underline. The temperance card, clarify the temperance card. Look at, there's the reward. There's the package of marshmallows. There is a new beginning here, kind of handed to you, like the strings handed to you. But yeah, the devil isn't gonna hand anyone strings unless they've earned them. And when I say earn them, like I don't wanna say that you haven't been through difficult things already in your life that you haven't earned the strings on. You absolutely have. This is something new. This is a new earning of the strings. You know, this person is sort of like a, a ghostly image. You could also, you could almost say that this image is like the different conscious levels of us and how that exists through intellect and spirit and soul and mind and passion and even just like throughout the tarot. And this is one of those elements, but it feels like heart strings on a level that you weren't prepared for. Yeah, hanged man is at the bottom. Anything else with that? No, it's reversed. 
Look at, and it's the freaking sun reversed. So, the, although the sun is one of the cards in the tarot that it doesn't matter if it's reversed or upright. Um, but it's just to say, you know what? Well, maybe look at it like this. He's upside down. There. That's what they're waiting for you to do. That's what the devil, the universe is waiting for you to do. Is to see the possibilities where you don't see them right now. Realizing that this is not actually, your wishes are never really reversed. The sun is never reversed. You're, you've, you're being asked to reverse yourself. To put yourself upside down so you can see that, you know what? It's exactly what I wanted it to be. It will be. Mm, oh my gosh. Oh, Taurus. Thank you for letting me do that reading for you. I'm going to go do the extended. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.